Hawaii's COVID-19 hospitalization numbers are also on the decline. The state's emergency management agency reports 46 people are currently hospitalized due to the virus. That's 10 times less than the peak of the Omicron and Delta surges. The need for more ICU beds in Hawaii became more apparent during the pandemic. Now Hilo Medical Center is doing something about it. KITV4's Ali Dukolo has that story. Hilo Medical Center currently has 11 beds in its intensive care unit. During the Delta variant surge, the facility housed double the number of patients than it had beds, 22 COVID and non-COVID patients. Now, hospital heads are planning to add 18 new ICU beds. Our hospital um, requires expansion because our community is expanding. Hilo Medical Center not only treats people in the Hilo area, they end up taking people from all over the island as overflow. And so we definitely need it. There's been no expansion of facilities at Hilo Medical since it opened its doors in 1985. The hospital received $30 million before the pandemic to bolster its ICU and has since been completing permitting processes. Under current plans, the hospital could break ground middle to late next year. Right now, the hospital has one COVID patient, but the facility is full of other patients whose care has been delayed because of the pandemic. A hospital representative says many of them need ICU grade beds. It's requiring a lot of um, hands on deck to to give them the best possible care and um, nurse them back to health. The expanded ICU also calls for at least 24 new nurses. Hilo Medical has 50 open nursing positions and they're actively recruiting from the university and community college. Mayor Mitch Roth recalls his time in the ICU after he suffered a heart attack last year. The people in there, they treated me like family. I really wish that we had this extra space during the pandemic uh, for them because those people work their hearts out. Hilo Medical is also planning to add a birthing center with 12 new beds, an additional $60 million undertaking. Hospital leadership is still trying to secure the funds needed to complete the project. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.